This is David Percy at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Morning thunderstorms through the central interior moved northward and dissipated. This left behind widespread areas of cloudiness with scattered showers, areas of light rain and fog fell across the Seward Peninsula and extended off to the southeast through the Kuskokwim and Lower Yukon Valleys to northeast Bristol Bay. It was a mostly cloudy day across Kodiak Island and the North Gulf Coast. There were a few showers over the Susitna and Madnuska Valley, as well as the Copper River Basin. A weakening front brought rain to the Yakutat portions of the southeast coast. Cloudy skies with areas of rain and fog out over the Bering Sea areas. Low pressure tonight will keep conditions wet along the southwest coast. Look for periods of rain and cl mostly cloudy skies over most of south central Alaska westward to the Bering Sea and a warm front will keep it wet over the western Seward Peninsula and a cold front will produce periods of light rain from the eastern Arctic coast across the central north slope to the western Brooks Range. Look for a few scattered showers to diminish over the southeast coast. A big storm moving up from the western Pacific will bring gale force winds into areas southwest of Kodiak Island along the Pacific side of the Alaska Peninsula as early as late Monday afternoon, more likely though, Monday evening you'll see a significant increase in the winds in that area. Otherwise, it'll be partly to mostly sunny over south central Alaska, the Tanana Valley, and Copper River Basin for Monday, with some afternoon showers along the western Alaska range. There's a risk of an afternoon sh thunderstorm over the White Mountains, as well as the Wrangles. Then for Tuesday, Heavy rain and gusty winds as high as 60 miles per hour will push up across Kodiak Island. Gale force winds will extend up over the western Gulf Coast and possibly into the southern portions of Cook Inlet. Rain will extend across all of Bristol Bay to the Pribilof Islands and in over southwest Alaska. High pressure will make for a partly sunny afternoon across the Panhandle with light winds. And it'll be mostly sunny and quite warm again over the interior valleys and Copper River Basin. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is...